So it's mighty hard to use a router to mill down a drum shell. Milling. Is that the right term for this? I think it is. Anyway, hard to use a router to mill down a drum shell when the router motor is shot. This thing's as old as I am, and I finally gave up. So tonight, I took the kids, second night in a row, took the kids to Home Depot. And bought a new toy. I don't do this often, and I don't do it lightly, but like I said in the last video, I've been waiting to do this project for a very long time. Oh, that's pretty. Woo -hoo! So here is the router. Wrench to change the bits. And uh, three bits. Um, also, since I'm trying to take up a little bit more material than really what this little straight bit can do, I spent another $18 and pick this up. Now what surprised me after looking online and other places this is only a, this is only 70 bucks. That's that's not terrible. I was expecting to spend at least 100 130 um, to get a new one. But I didn't I didn't need I didn't need the plunge capability. What I needed was the ability to mount it onto the bottom of my of my table uh, as you've seen. Confession. I don't have a clue how to use this thing. Got it figured out. Amazing. The benefit of instructions. This is exactly what I need it to be. Noise is an important consideration around here. Plug this thing in, just give it a little uh, performance check on the noise issue. I got the new router on. I can't believe the difference. This is unbelievable. Whoa. It cuts so much faster, so much more easily, and so quietly. Look at this. Look at the difference right there. Almost perfectly smooth, and it just, it just cuts like butter. I'm interested to see what it's like when I get to this thicker section right here. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> I, maybe I shouldn't be so surprised. <clears throat> But I've said elsewhere many times before, the right tools make all the difference. I can't believe this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me zoom in so you can get a good look. Look at how clean that edge is. Look at that. Perfectly clean. Sanding will be a piece of cake because it is just so smooth. It's so smooth. Just ran into a problem. You can see over here, I added that screw because for some reason when I'm turning, when I'm rotating counterclockwise, it, uh, it, would, it would start to roll off. It didn't happen as often over here, so I didn't put a screw over here. Well, the blade was cutting so easily and so smoothly but I wasn't paying attention and the whole piece jumped and that quarter inch divot is the result. Um, that makes me angry. And I also noticed another problem. It's not that big a problem because I knew I was going to have to uh, do some real filling, but uh, this right here is really thin and if I go and I've, I've got to go deeper anyway. It, it's just the way it is. So that whole section right there, this whole bit right here is probably going to come out. 
and I'll end up having to fill a fairly significant section with epoxy. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but uh, it could make it pretty interesting. We'll see. Okay, some good things and some bad things. Good things first. The divot from when the drum fell is gone, milled right off. Uh, I'm not sad at all about the amount of opening here. I think it's going to be really pretty once I get epoxy on there that's all nice and clear. And then the only other thing that I'm worried about is how thin the shell is right there. I mean, that's that is really thin. And it, I mean, it's fairly thick elsewhere, but that's pretty thin there. Um, I wasn't planning on having to do uh, an O-ring to support the inside of the shell, but I might have to. We'll see.